The next fight is in the USFFC Atomweight division. It is between Nicole Hunt with Brock. Okay, the next bout is in the female division, the atom weight division. It is between Nicole Hunt with Real American Grappling taking on Rachel Sazoff out of New Jersey. Well, Rachel Sazoff traveled all the way down from New Jersey. She trains there with Ricardo Almeida, former UFC vet, a legend. She makes her way all the way down here to take on Nicole Hunt, who is highly touted as possibly that next big female athlete in mixed martial arts. You know, Invicta, they have handpicked a ton of fighters, of competitors from the U.S. Freedom Fighter roster, and she looks to be the next in that list. These ladies are small, but they pack a big punch. Nicole Hunt, Rachel Sazoff happening right now on USFFC 28. All right, Rachel Sazoff, Nicole Hunt, face off in the center of the cage. Professional Adam weight bout underway. We've talked about it before, U.S. Freedom Fighter is known for producing that top level WMMA talent. And I think that this is uh, one of those situations, one of those instances where you've got Nicole Hunt looking for that next level, trying to take it uh, all the way to the top. Quite possibly we may have Shannon Knapp which, with a watchful eye over this one. Rachel Sazoff. Bringing the fight right to Nicole Hunt. Jabs and punches down the middle. Both ladies showing some good head movement. The Southpaw says off does not appear to have nearly uh, the, the, the frame and the size of uh, Rachel says off. Uh, throwing a few shots out there. Uh, but Nicole Hunt just shrugging those off with ease. Yeah, Nicole Hunt may be the more physical of the two, but, you know, Rachel Sazoff, like Cyrus reminded us, is a veteran of seven fights so far, and this is no, this is not her first rodeo. And again, uh, training with Ricardo Almeida, a legend in yes. the sport. Yeah, absolutely. Ricardo Almeida, one of the renowned jiu-jitsu guys, pioneers of the sport in mixed martial arts. And again, taking nothing away from Rachel Sazoff, she is landing a few shots, but 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 Nicole Hunt just walking through everything that Sazoff has to offer. Well, the Hunt has the reach advantage, and that's apparent already, and I think she's using it so far pretty well. Sazoff might have to get in a little bit closer to make those shots land. Well, and it appears as though the right hook seems to be the, the, the best... Uh, the best technique, uh, you know, for her right here. It allows her to reach out there and land without uh, exposing too much of her chin. Rachel Sazoff, perhaps the smaller of the two, but still the one pressing forward and moving the action. Here's a little bit of uh, discoloration uh, forming around the right eye of Rachel Sazoff. And, and Hunt has a pretty crisp right straight. And a left jab that she's doing a good uh, job of firing big shot out there. there. Sazoff to her guard. Now let's find out how this Ricardo Almeida Jiu Jitsu pans out here in round one of this WMMA showcase. Right now, Hunt dropping some big shots from up top. They are finding their mark. Sazoff taking some punishment here from the bottom position. Hunt appears to be just the heavier of the two able to kind of use her weight advantage to keep her opponent well, down. Well, half guard position from Rachel Sezoff, scooping that, that left arm inside the leg. I don't know if it's necessarily uh, a great option in mixed martial arts where the, the right hand, and, and more uh, dangerously, the right elbow is wide open to land. Professional matchup right here at the Adam weight of 105 pounds so far. Nicole Hunt seems to be landing the tougher of the shots between the two, punishing the midsection of Rachel Sazoff right here at USFFC 28. I myself typically prefer uh, butterfly, um, uh, you know, or, you know or, or obviously the the closed uh, the closed guard, the traditional guard. But uh, I think that the half guard is one that you really have to understand the dynamics uh, of how you transition from Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu to mixed martial arts competition. If you're going to be on bottom, you've got to really understand how to uh, to control that range. And and uh, Sezov is 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 not answering that uh, that riddle just yet. 
So far, the top control from Nicole Hunt with Real American Grappling has really smothered her opponent. Rachel Sezoff struggling to amount any offense or any positional improvement from the bottom so far. Nicole Hunt en route to taking this first round of this professional matchup. And again, from half guard, uh, another crucial portion of using that half guard is that you need uh, the close arm underhook, something that she has not secured during any portion of this. Uh, the only thing that Sezov is doing is surviving, which is uh, which is, is not going to be conducive to winning this bout. Nope. you got to do a little more than survive. Sazov is going to have to get out from underneath her opponent right now at this point in time. It doesn't appear that she's going to be able to get any offense or submission attempts done, at least not yet. And Nicole again, Hunt smothering and her. And again, that left arm of Sazov uh, is underhooked. Uh, she needs to regain that underhook if she's going to have any success with the half guard. That is the most uh, crucial element of, of that position. All right, this first round is over and in the books. Uh, you know, Sezov is going to have to, you know, really get up on those wheels, move a lot when you are at yeah. a power deficit, uh, like we're seeing here. That's your only option. It's just like when we hit to the ground. If you're going to be on your back, you've got to be super, super aggressive with that guard if you're going to be successful. Yep. Here we go, round number two. Rachel Sezov and Nicole Hunt. Nicole Hunt firing that right hand right down the pipe. At times, connecting with her opponent, Rachel Sezoff, throwing combinations, leading with the jab. You've got a southpaw versus orthodox, or southpaw versus orthodox matchup here, which can kind of lead to an awkward exchange sometimes. Both people using their jabs to kind of gauge the distance, and that can lead to a, some, some odd exchanges at times. Nice kick there by Sezoff. Lands on his mark. Continues to toll forward. Again, I think the, the money is in the right hook of Sazov. It's something that she's shown she's had the range uh, uh, for. But Hunt answering back here with, with hard shots, much harder uh, than what we're seeing from, from Sazov. See there, Close I mean, Sazov almost probing with that right leg, and Hunt isn't playing around. She delivers back hard. Yeah, that right, that right punch from Nicole Hunt, probably her most strongest weapon on her feet so far. Man. But Sezov not deterred, still pressing forward against her larger opponent. Lands a nice left straight of her own. Unfazed though is Nicole Hunt, who like you said, is firing back with some shots that seem to have a little more sting to him. Sure, and, and you know, again, Sezov tolling forward but as soon as, as Hunt feels her range, she is firing off and firing off hard. And it's like playing with fire out there. All it takes is one right there on the chin. But to her credit, none of these are stopping Sezov from walking right forward into Nicole Hunt, landing a couple of good left straights of her own. Maybe not with as much damage behind them, but still they're landing. You've got the judges watching. And, you know, as you mentioned, Sezov probably has landed more shots, like you mentioned. Uh, that is up until now. But the, the judges can clearly see that the, the effectiveness is just not there. A couple of body punches from Sezov. Again, Nicole Hunt kind of shrugging them off. Just looking to land that right, right cross. Ducks under it, Rachel Sezov. Now Sezov uh, continues to sort of dip to her left there and she needs to watch out. Nicole Hunt, very proficient with her right kick. If she brings that up high at the right moment, it could be curtains for Sezov. Sezov, the left-hander, will occasionally sneak that southpaw punch in there courtesy of a left straight, but not taking too much damage on her opponent, Nicole Hunt. Jabs from Hunt. Nice shot there by Sezov. Get your left hand up. 
And nice, right. another right hook. That's what I'm saying. That right hook is money in this fight for Sezov. The range with her left is just not there, yep. at least when closing the distance. Both of these women happy to exchange in the center of the cage. As I say that, here is the takedown, uh, and uh, that might be the, the the crucial moment in this fight. Sezov is going to have to really, really work that half guard position, get the sweep in order to have a chance in this round. I started to think actually when the, you know uh, from the striking portion that Sezov may have, have been slightly ahead because she had been so active, and then this this happens. And, yeah. And again, watch see the right arm uh, blocked there. Uh, by the shin of Nicole Hunt, leaving the face of Sezov wide open to that barrage of strikes. Yeah, bad position for Rachel Sezov. We saw this in the first round, unable to get out from underneath her opponent, smothering top control. Here we go. And she's Sezov have scooping to do again. It. That shin across the face that doesn't feel of Rachel Sezov. No, not at all. And not, neither does the relentless ground and pound of Nicole Hunt. You see the left underhook of, of Sezov. You know, that's something that you absolutely need to, to push for. You need to maintain that control using. All right, round three underway. Here we go. Nicole Hunt, real American grappling out of Charlotte, North Carolina fighting Rachel Sezoff, Hamilton, New Jersey. So far, Hunt potentially in the lead with some of the combination of top control and punches from the stand-up position. But let me tell you, Rachel Sezoff is still pressing forward, still throw, fighting back, throwing combinations of her own, and this is a pretty scrappy fight so far. Oh, that was a mean shot. Nicole Hunt landed, you heard the thud from the leather connecting with face, but doesn't look like Rachel even felt it. Mouse forming under the right, right eye of Rachel Salazar. Sezoff, excuse me. Rachel Sezoff, you know, gaining, certainly gaining my respect here, fighting hard, uh, even though I do not have her ahead in this fight. Many would, would look at her and and think that, you know, being a, a professional mixed martial arts fighter would be the last thing. <laughs> she, uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't th know if I'd believe her. To be. uh, yeah, if, if, I mean, obviously now watching, clearly she's an incredible mixed martial artist. But yeah, it's doesn't she, fit the the bill. I and suppose. she, you know, of course, and, and at 25 years of age, she has uh, that baby face, beautiful uh, lead hook kick there from Sazov. Yeah, that was pretty impressive. I, I think that connected a we nice go. punch from Sezov, too. R R Nicole Hunt responds there with the takedown. You know what to do. Elbow. Push the, push the face with your left hand and drop the elbow. Yes. Hunt this time in crossbody position. Applying pressure to Sezov, who is cool, calm, and collected. But again, must move here if she wants to uh, have any chance of, of taking this fight. Those elbows are stiff there, the point of the elbow, and they can cause a lot of damage. Yeah, that's right. And we have two and a half minutes left to go here in the final round of the matchup. Rachel Sezov going to have to dig deep down inside to find the strength to overcome a, an opponent that probably has, is slightly up on the judges' scorecards. She's got two and a half minutes left to do it. Tough spot underneath the, you know, just smothering top control of Nicole Hunt. So far, Sezov has not demonstrated an ability to improve this position. Throwing knees there to the body of Nicole Hunt. Still two minutes to survive if that is indeed her plan, her game plan. Um, and a long shot. Uh, in order to, uh, to to come out here with her arm raised, it's uh, it doesn't look good for Rachel Sezov. 
A minute and 45 seconds left to go in the match. Here we are, the tail end of round three. Nicole Hunt, Real American Grappling. Not giving any space to her opponent, Rachel Sazoff. Now, I, I can see here slightly uh, a, a lot of, of blue appearing in the actual eye area of, of Rachel Sazoff. Like, those, those elbows are connecting. Yeah. Um, Sazoff is, is one tough young lady yes, she is. To, to endure this. Nicole Hunt, relentless. Big shots from side mount. Rachel Sazoff, Sazoff scrambling to try to get out from underneath this, but just unable to do so. Well, and Nicole Hunt here, you know, giving everything she's got, looking for that finish. Again, looking to take her career to that next level in her pro debut. There you go. 45 seconds remain in the bout. Nicole Hunt showing no signs of letting up as she shouldn't. Sazoff with just a fury of punches coming oh, her way Oh, that was a hard shot. Time. You saw Rachel Sazoff batting her eyes and shaking it off. And back to half guard position. A situation we've seen a lot of in this bout. Yeah, you know, Sazoff might be in one of those spots as her weight class that Maybe even the atom weight division is too big for her, perhaps. I actually don't know what's below that, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I don't know if there is one. But nonetheless, that's, I mean, even in the atom weight, you see a size differentiation well, here. It's pretty noticeable. A moral victory, if nothing else, by Rachel Sazoff to survive this onslaught. Ladies and gentlemen, after three hard-fought rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges scored the fight 30 to 27. For your winner by unanimous decision, Nicole the Anvil Hunt. Nicole, you are victorious in your professional mixed martial arts debut over a veteran in Rachel Sazoff. Talk about this fight. Uh, I didn't want to underestimate Rachel just because of her um, record. I knew she'd be tough. I think she's only been finished one time. This is a lot about her. And so I knew um, that underestimating her coming to this fight would be a mistake, and it definitely would have been. You can tell right from the start that you possess the power advantage. You push forward. But as time went on, Rachel Sazoff, she began to catch her stride, land a few shots, but it was the ground that made the difference. How does it feel to be so dominant over a Cardinal Media protege? Um, I definitely try to work my ground a lot just because I feel like um, wrestling is what a lot of people lack in. So I want that to be my strong point. So you know that this U.S. Freedom Fighter cage has been host to a ton of WMMA talent. We saw Alexa Connors. Okay, we saw Ashley Greenway. All, all on the roster of Invicta FC. If there's something that you would like to say to Shannon Knapp, I'm going to give you that opportunity now. I'm definitely working my way towards that. I don't want to just be the local hero. And uh, yeah, I'm looking for Invicta or the next step pretty soon. Well, there you have it, everybody, hands together for your winner, Nicole.